Good morning. So I am going to go on to kind of build up on the um, AWS account cloud, AWS Academy, um, some of the resources resources that we're using. My wisdom teeth are still giving me issues. I think where where they were extracted rather. Anyways, um, okay. So so we went over in another video, and I'll put a link in there and somewhere in the comments to this previous video was um, talking about uh, one of the resources that we use, this uh, the training and certification portal within AWS. So this is kind of where the labs are held. Um, like I said, this can, be con this can be done completely online. I don't know why I can't talk today. This can be done completely online. And um, so the labs are online. So it's hosted through something called Vocarium may or may not be pronouncing that correctly and uh you should once you let me know that you want to part participate in the class you'll get an email from vocarium and um to access it so this is what vocarium is the website um whenever you first log on it may look a little bit differently and i just took myself somewhere i didn't want to go Okay, I'm back. So the class that we're in is 2019-1202 um, ACF Hawking College. And what this is, this is um, AWS Cloud Fundamentals. And we started in, 20, in December 2019, but we only had one class. We just started right before Christmas break. So if you're wanting to join in and it's still in early January when you're watching this video, you're more than welcome to join. Um, it has to ending in April, um, so I don't think it'll take that long. Once we start gaining momentum with the new year and all that stuff, I think it'll be sooner than that. I have one, have some students, well, at least one student that I know of. She's already kind of progressed past the point where we left off last December, which is fine, um, which is great. Uh, just you know, just it should it shouldn't take you know up to April, depending upon the student and how much time they have. They can get it done a lot quicker. I think the expectation on the time to complete this is anywhere from 20 to 30 hours. Now that's not to say that immediately after that 30 hours that you'll be 100% prepared for the exam, for the certification exam. You may still need to do some additional studying and some experimenting with an AWS um, platform. Um, it's I've always been a good test taker um, in high school and elementary school and all the school years. I've always been a really good test, test taker. And I know some people are, are and some people aren't. I've always been one of the good ones, which I was, you know, kind of lucky on that. But this one was hard. From the point of view, and that's not meant to scare you yet, but it's just be aware that it does take some prep work um, and some reading and studying. And this is from someone who was just always a good test taker and didn't really have to do a whole lot of stuff to study. Um, so anybody can do it, just be aware. It does require some commitment. So, um, so this is the Vocarium website, which is where all the labs are held. And when you first log in, you may look something like this. Um, you may need to navigate to my classes. I have some other classes in here. Um, let's see. Okay. Now I'm the educator in this class, so my, some of my platform may look different. Recently, released another version of this, I believe has some different components. Um, once uh, we'll start looking at it and see which one, there's like a this one right here, and then there's a version two. Um, and then there's is the teacher access for me. So uh, my plan is, since we're so early on, I don't know, I still need to make a decision on how which one we're gonna do. I like the, the fact that version two it talks more about I am in the beginning, which I think is one of the, uh, fundamentals of um, of AWS so that would be a really good component, uh, a skill to be aware of, and it's 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 hit upon in the AWS uh, certification exam. But this is how you access it. Like I said, so my again, my interface might be a little bit differently. Someone get hit home, and you can do card view like you see right here or list view. 
and you can see you have some students and a teacher account the students should see the student account and i don't know if they're going to have access to this one or am i the only one have access that might play into which one i go with so we'll figure that out but let's go ahead and go to the one that we've been playing with uh, so this the lab that they everybody was assigned to do from the first day and i don't think everybody has um because like i said it's right before break um it was an introduction to ec2 so you click on that and go to my work i think yeah okay so it talks about the introduction to ec2 and how to do it so and then you would just basically you click start lab and i believe it opens up in another tab i could be wrong it's thinking there we go oh okay it says i already completed it no no it's not okay Sometimes it'll come up saying you already completed it. So it's in creation. So it's setting up the EC2, which is basically one of AWS's computing services in the car, which is basically somebody else's computer. I'm going to pause this while that's doing its thing. Okay, so a few minutes later, you'll get to the point of it saying ready. And if you'll look on the instructions, we're supposed to close that out. And then at the top of these instructions, click AWS. And it says in a new browser tab, so that's good. And then we'll log you in. And it's going to log you in through this kind of encrypted little thing right here. It's just basically how you're accessing the resources within AWS. So if you don't have an AWS account, because it does require a credit card to set up a starter account, doesn't necessarily cost anything um, if you don't leave anything running or if you don't utilize any of the paid services within AWS. But sometimes you forget that you turn stuff off like one time I had a $500 bill because I forgot to turn something off anyways don't do that um but it does you know, I mean if you just if you're pay attention to what you're doing it doesn't won't cost you anything but a few a few dollars a month but you don't even if you don't want to you know make that leap right now um you can um just access the AWS console and um, through, like I said, it has this little Vogue Labs user, da, da, da. So if I actually went into my AWS account, it would say Tasha Penwell. And blah, 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 blah. Arrange the AWS management console so the tab displays alongside these instructions. So it wants us to ideally see things, you know. So you can just drag that, drag that. There we go. There you go. So the all or the Windows key, if you're on a PC, the Windows key and the left arrow key is an easy way of doing that. The left arrow or the right arrow. Um, anyways, so I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to create another video about actually going through all this stuff. I just wanted to share this particular resource, uh, what we're going to be using. Um, one of the resources we'll be using with AWS Academy. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.